Stadium from Inverclyde Council and t the message here today is you really need to take this seriously, that we can't take any more cuts and people need to pay attention to what's happening in local government. The council tax freeze, the Scottish Parliament and the Scottish Government said to the Scottish people and the Scottish local authorities that they would be compensated for the council tax freeze and that has not happened. Edinburgh, the City of Edinburgh Council is due another £50 million pounds in this financial year if it was going to be compensated. In that respect, the Scottish Parliament and the Scottish Government have betrayed local authorities. The populist government to know, it might be no more uh, popular after the next election, because let's not forget, local work, government workers have a vote. As it stands anew, and listen to what I'm saying to you, there's projected 40,000 jobs to go in local government. 40,000 jobs for these people in here. That is now up to 60,000. Listen to what I'm saying! The cuts that have been imposed upon not just Glasgow but the whole of local authority have been made in this place here from a party who actually campaigned last year on a ticket of non-austerity to take the cuts that have been implemented from Westminster and more than double them is shameful and it's unbelievable what's happening here to the people of Scotland but in particular to the people of Glasgow. No, they have imposed in the past eight years almost half a billion cuts uh, on the people of Glasgow. Uh, which relates to over 4,000 jobs in Glasgow, over 60,000 jobs throughout the whole of Scotland, and yet they have the audacity to stand in a ticket of anti-austerity in the last campaign. No ifs, no buts, no public sector cuts.